something like that would be ideal. So let's uh, go for that. Maneuver has been initiated. Let's see if we can get our ship pointed in the right direction. Got 20 seconds to do this. And yet the maneuver was interrupted. Okay. Uh, one very, very irritating thing about this is every time I want to do anything to do with warp, I have to get out of the seat if the maneuver fails. Uh, hugely irritating, massively time wasting, but uh, Alpha, 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 Alpha. Don't forget Alpha. Alright, let's try that again. Move that probably to about here. And possibly here. Give ourselves a little bit of extra time. Ready? Alright, uh, we can't even do the manoeuvre. It's uh, decided that it's a bit of a sausage. So let's remove the manoeuvre. Ask it to warp. There we go. It's showing up now. Uh, that's a bit of a tip there, I suppose. Could be suggested. Bring ourselves as close as possible. Initialize the maneuver. We're pretty much looking in the right direction. I can't think of a reason why the maneuver would be uh, cancelled now. 30 seconds and then we'll be off, finally. Ugh. So I'm working solo this morning because Bane isn't around. Uh, invariably that's going to get me killed, but uh, at least we're having a go. Um, one of the things that we really wanted to do uh, was grapple. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find a ship to grapple to. Uh, that's basically my uh, my goal for this video. Uh, we don't know if it's going to happen, but we're certainly going to have a try. Uh, we are going to another thing, ship. But whether it's a derelict, whether it's something that we can uh, make use of. It's 813 metres away, so I've got a little ways to go. Let's go take a, a peek at it, shall we? There it is. Are you a derelict or are you something I can use? There we go, we're on the way. So I'm going to try and use my RCS as sparingly as possible because one of the uh, the difficulties that we uh, that Bane and I had in the last video is we ran out of nitrogen pretty swiftly uh, because the ship that we got it had very very little in. This one has a little bit more in, so I'm not quite as concerned. But nonetheless, I mean the same concerns are there. I don't really want to have to do a great deal of mining by myself. That could be troubling. So just uh, you know. We'll edge our way towards this ship. One thing that we could do is possibly have a harder look. Oh, that might. That might just be something that we can use. And if it is, we can have a go at grappling. Uh, only 500 metres away. Or 520. So, yeah. I've got to say, I'm quite impressed with the the speed at which the devs are putting out updates and fixes to the game. There are still inherent issues that you would find in any alpha, uh, like for example there. Uh, supposing I have any issues with an FTL manoeuvre, then let's just move that ship up a little bit. It's uh, drifting off course. There we are. Um, yes, uh, little issues like that hopefully are things that we're going to be able to uh, see fixed in the near future. Um, now unfortunately I, I can't give any indication of what the uh, what the code format of this game is which is a shame uh, because I really don't know. I, this is this game is yeah uh, I don't want to say unique to me but uh, it, it's a game that I've never come across uh, the type of coding that would go into making a game like this before. We're getting quite close now, so let's uh, slow ourselves right down. As soon as we get to about 150 meters, this certainly looks like something interesting. Now, I think what we'll do 
is uh, hopefully. Ooh, this is a module. I think it looks like it's not broken either. Now this is interesting. Looks like it might be a cargo module. Slow ourselves right down. Yeah, this looks like F3 to match velocity. Doesn't appear to have worked. Well, I tell you what, let's. Uh, Yes, this looks like a working module. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to get out of the seat and then get back in in order to engage docking uh, because of that strange little bug. Duck, 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 duck. All right. So it looks like what we'll need to do is swing our ship in this general direction. Hopefully we'll be able to see it coming into view. Yes, we can. Where's the docking port? Now we're actually going to do this docked. Oh, what is this? This looks wicked. It's like a... Oh, is, is this a power generator? Whatever it is, it's super duper cool. Perhaps, yeah, uh, we're going to have to turn around and try and... Uh, yeah, let's not smash into it, that's going to cause... Oh! I think we smashed into it. Okay, really, really doesn't matter what docking port that we decide to go to. Just to go to the one over there, so let's make that attempt. We are using the grappling system, so looks like we've got a bit of a spin on, possibly because we uh, we we may have given it a little bit of a prank earlier. Uh, if Bane was here, I would be blaming him, but uh, uh, sadly, <laughs> I don't think I'm able to do that this time. Oh, oh do you know what? We're very very cool. Oh. A little bit finicky, a little bit sensitive. We need to roll the ship around. That's it. And <laughs> trying to float away. <laughs> Come on, standard docking docking port B. Pocking port? Whatever this module is, it looks absolutely super cool. I think it's a reactor. Coming in a little hot here, so let's just slow it down. Gotta go downwards a little bit. It's aware that I'm trying to dock with it, that's good. Looks like we're on a good course. Come on. And we have grappled, ladies and gentlemen. We've actually managed to grapple now. So now what we're going to try and do is we're going to get out of our ship. No, we're not going to get out of the ship at all. We're going to get back into the cockpit. We are doing a little bit of a spin. Not a problem though. Back to the nav, and now that we've managed to grapple the thing, I believe that is our home station. Uh, 6B2D0757, but uh, let's see if the actual home station jib jab works. Uh, I think that's correct, so let's, uh, let's try and walk back. Hasn't shown me the little maneuver things here, so let's... There we go. All right. For some reason, it goes to the planet, but uh, I think we'll probably be able to uh, work this out. Let's try and go as close as possible to it. Oh, there you go. Oh. 
That looks like a good maneuver. Let's initialize, interact and try and turn this thing around in order to get this back to our home station. Where is it? Still got 25 seconds to go, not a problem. Here it is. Oh, you absolute tart. I don't know why it decided to uh, interrupt there, but here we go. Let's get out of the seat and get back in because great. Okay, interact. Now, when it comes to things like this, and it does have a little bit of a, uh, a wobbly, you have to try and initially initiate warp again. Bring you as close as possible. We haven't actually chosen a warp core. It tends to be uh, unhelpful. Alright, 41 and 53. Okay, initialize. Hopefully this time, because we're not going to have to do a great deal of manoeuvring, we're going to be okay. We should have that ship in tow behind us. We are grappled to it. I don't know how to de-grapple, uh, <laughs> which, which could be fun. All right, 20 seconds, guys. Uh, I will be cutting this together a little bit, otherwise it might just get a little bit too long for you. And we don't want a massively long video uh, in order to signify grappling, but uh, here we go. Eight seconds. Looks like there's a ship directly in front of us. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our home station. So, with that in mind, what we're going to attempt to do here, I believe... So cool. Right. How do we de-grapple, I wonder? Just take a quick look at this. Oh, we can't. We're okay for oxygen and we're okay for RCS. Oh, okay. The door, the door was open. Everything's fine. So, we are going to have to try and de-grapple that station. We don't know how at this point. Uh, close the inner door, depressurize, get that helmet on. Oh no, it was on. That's not good. There we are. <laughs> I really hope we're actually still grappled to that station. If we're not, my heart's going to be absolutely broken. Nearly ready. Yep, pressure has gone down. Let's open that door and we are still grappled, ladies and gentlemen. But the next question is how do we release that grapple? I think I might know how. Uh, I also think might be quite interesting in order to do so because I think what we might need to do is we might need to go inside and release the ship so we'll we'll attempt that this station looks super duper cool let's just take a look at it on the inside it does have a little external airlock there which is fine, that means we can blow open this door using the manual override. And to hold shift, hold on. Very good, close that. Now, we're gonna have to shut this door. There you go, that door's now been shut. Looks like external pressure is creeping up all by itself, so we'll just wait. Oh, 
In fact, we're at the point where we could actually take our helmet off now if we chose to. Um, uh, you see there are docking clamps here. What we need to do is we need to look through the window. Yeah, we can take our helmet off now. Because those docking clamps are here, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to press the oh no button and hopefully it will release the ship. Once we do that, we'll go back outside and we will RCS this into position. Can we can we come through, please? All right, that's fine. Thanking you. Do we have grab? We have got grab. Let's just shut the door. All right, so what is this thing? I'm fairly convinced that this is a reactor. Now let's just take a look through here. That looks like the ship grapple. So let's see what we can do. Let's put our helmet on just in case. We have been ejected from the ship. Let's shut this. better reset it because it, it always confuses me hopefully we're not going out why is it so dark yeah, it's just oh there's a pressure out there now that's interesting that, that could be bad but uh, we will need to now leave the ship so let's do that Remember holding shift to ensure that you don't get sucked out. Oh, it looks like it's all gone relatively well. So let's shut the door. Now our next real challenge is to find the uh, RCS thrusters of... No, don't, sh don't open you sausage. Uh, oh, it looks like it's up here. Look, look, I think I found it. So uh, it looks like we're, we're actually going to cover both grappling. Alright, so it looks like we want that ship there. And standard docking port B is absolutely fine. We're going to try and manoeuvre around our ship. bit concerned about doing this the wrong way. Okay, let's maneuver around the ship. See where we need to go. Whoa! This thing is unwieldy. Can't see a great deal, I must admit. Oh, it's hugely unwieldy. This is difficult to drive, ladies and gentlemen. I can see the standard docking port B. It's on the far side of the ship to the right there. Oh! At least I thought it was. One of the issues that we might have here is I think our ship's in the way. Should we try anyway? We'll just point the ship out of the way. Um, and we'll deal with any problems that creates. Does that sound good, guys? Sounds good. certainly appears that stations of a different size do have a different inertia, which I like. Oh, that looks good. Let's take it slow now. So we're getting a little bit of lag almost, or, or uh, frame lag at least. Ooh, how close are we to the ship? Certainly going in the right direction, aren't we? Let's 
Are we going to have a bigger station by the end of this, or are we going to have killed ourselves? That is the question. Let's slow ourselves right down there. Only 13 meters away. Even slower. 0.3 or below is probably going to be ideal. Very, very close. Ooh, let's just try not to be overcompensating for any manoeuvres. And looks like we're right on the button here. We've docked, ladies and gentlemen. We have docked. So let's now work out where our ship is in comparison. Is that the ship up there? Yeah, we just managed to creep under the ship from the looks of it. But look what we've done. We've got this massive, awesome module. Uh-oh, oxygen is low. Uh, we've got this massive, awesome module on the ship. What we're going to try and do is get back in the ship as soon as we humanly can. Uh, we will dock to the main station, and from there, we'll work out what we want to do. And indeed, whether there is anything interesting within that module that we've just got. So ladies and gentlemen, that uh, is effectively a tutorial on how to grapple a ship uh, almost exactly in the same way as docking, bring it back to your new vessel, release it, and then dock it to your main station. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed that, and I certainly hope that you will uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more Hellion content, because of course the game is in full development at the moment and there are going to be more features added all the time. Uh, so fingers crossed what we will find as um, not only as uh, content creators, but also as avid gamers, uh, the game gets more interesting as time progresses. For now, ladies and gentlemen, this is The Girl, out.